When I was growing up as a kid in Jersey, I had dinosaur books. And if there was one permocarb, permian carboniferous critter illustrated, it was dusty, it was diplocolis. Why? Because it's so weird. <laughs> Welcome to PaleoPal's second Kickstarter. Today, you can get a new PAL for your Paleo Pal. Our first toy that we did was an animal called Andy the Anomalocaris. And this was a roaring success on our Kickstarter. And we are presenting our newest toy, Dusty the Diplocolis. We're hoping to make Paleo Pals more than just a singular pal, but a whole multitude of pals. All day long we get to talk about dinosaurs, things that lived in the Jurassic and the Cretaceous. But what's a lot of fun is to think about animals that lived a long time before that. This is a strange little animal, boomerang head, and they're a lot of fun to look at and think about. Everybody knows about the dinosaurs, but very few people know about these critters. Hi, I'm Greg, and I am the owner of the Dino Hotel, also known as the Best Western Denver Southwest, and I am here with none other than Dusty the Diplocolis. Dusty uh, is a fun way, an educational way, to have a window into the past. Uh, we want to learn about more than dinosaurs. We want to learn about the totality of the web of life from prehistory. And Dusty is a fantastic ambassador to the Permian, a way to learn so much more about what prehistoric life looked like. Diplocolis magnacornis has always been an animal that really mattered to me. Um, as a seven-year-old kid, I thought this was a super bizarre and almost funny animal. Um, it's hard to believe that a creature with arms about this size relative to body size could exist with a head like a, basically just like a boomerang. And in that sense, uh, animals like Dusty did inspire me to get involved in the field. I've been digging these guys for 12 years now. Uh, we get babies, and the babies look normal. They have no horns at all. They look like a normal frog head, salamander head. And their bodies aren't so zoftig, it's a technical term. As they grew up, especially the males, we suspect, the size of the head grow incredibly fast, faster than any other part of the body. What's weird about Diplocolis is we tend to find them in fairly dry environments, which is, indicates that they kind of filled the same niche as a lungfish, where they'd come out seasonally and play around and then scoot around the mud a bit and then curl up into little burrows and fall asleep. These are animals that dominated during their time periods. And I would think that a group of animals that are least understood are the ones that lived in the Permian. It seems counterintuitive. This is a success. This is not a raptor. This is not a shark. It's not even Dimetrodon. But when the Dimetrodon family had long gone extinct, these kept on going upward through time. That's pretty cool. Now, one of the exciting things that we're going to be giving you if you are one of our big contributors to our Kickstarter is a really awesome tour of the paleontology of Morrison, Colorado. And we're also gonna come out and talk about the geology of our Permian and Carboniferous Age rocks right here in the Denver area. Dusty has a permanently little sad face, but that's just the way uh, he evolved. You know how you could probably turn that frown upside down? Give him a forever home. I recommend you get three, two for the bed and one in your truck. 